Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement for you from God's Word on this Monday. It's uh, February, we just celebrated Valentine's Day. In fact, I still have some uh, remnants of Valentine's stuff, uh, little little cookies and cupcakes that uh, some special friends uh, gave me, a little Valentine, yummies, and so we're talking about love. The verses we're going to be looking at um, in the next week, couple of weeks, are going to be verses about love. And today we're in 1 John 4, 11. And John writes, Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. How much did God love us? God loved us so much that he was willing to sacrifice his own son to die so that we could be in a right relationship with him. That's pretty extreme. So that's how much God loved us, and we ought to love each other. Now, are we going to have an opportunity to, or a situation where we would be called to give up our life for somebody? Well, that's probably pretty unlikely. However, there are lots of things we could do in a sacrificial way to demonstrate our love to other people. For instance, you could sacrifice in terms of your resources. Give some money to somebody who is really in need and you're practically demonstrating your love by what you do in terms of offering out of your wealth. Perhaps it's sacrificing your time. There are lots of, lots of opportunities where we would give our time to sit with somebody, to listen to someone, to, to befriend them. Giving your time can be a sacrifice. Giving of your um, talents. Perhaps you have a skill that you have developed and you could sacrifice on behalf of this other person by spending your time and giving of your talents to help them out. In a practical way. You see, all of these are ways to demonstrate love. Love is about action. Love is not just about warm fuzzies. Warm is about what we do. And so as we think about what we have received from God, then the natural response should be, I have received and I need to give in the same way. You know, the name Christian means little Christ someone who reflects the same kind of qualities that Jesus had. That's why the people were called Christians at first. It was because they recognized these people were acting and living in the same way as this Jesus that they talked about. Boy, could that be true about us? That would be pretty awesome. So let's think about how we can then love in the same way, loving other people just as Jesus loved us. Let's pray. God, I thank you for your love, a love that we didn't deserve, a love that's amazing and hard to even get our head around, a love that enabled us to be experiencing your salvation and new life and transformed life. And it's because of your willingness to love us. Now you give us the chance to share that same kind of love with others in your name. And so we pray that we would listen to you and then act as you guide us. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, once again, 1 John 4, 11 says, Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. So let's choose to love other people in action today and in these days to come. God bless you and take care. Bye-bye.